Ladies and gents, welcome to TFI, one of the YouTube channels that I watch on a regular basis are Gamers Nexus. They've also got their own website. Highly recommend that you check these guys out. Their stuff is fascinating and they're a pack of geniuses, if I'm honest, like I just love their stuff. Today they put out a video explaining a new bit of software that AMD have brought out called OCAT, which for the life of me, I have no idea what that stands for, but OCAT, trying try to keep this as short as possible, OCAT's a plugin for, a, for games. It measures frames per second, which is a measure of how well your PC is performing. The more frames per second that's hitting your monitor, the better your PC is. The lower the frames per second number, struggling with the games. Maybe needs an upgrade somewhere. So I figured, would this OCAT software work with 3D CAD? Would I be able to plug it into Fusion 360, for example, in Inventor, and then measure the frames per second whilst you're orbiting around, panning around, zooming around, which would be a measure of how well your PC is performing with your 3D CAD application. In to cut a long story short, yes, it works. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. To get a hold of it, you can either go to the Gamers Nexus uh, website, I'm sure there's a link in here somewhere. Alternatively, you can just Google OCAT GitHub and then uh, go to the first link on there and then you can download 0.9.9-beta. Click the link, download it, install it. It's next, next, next to install, reboot your PC. And then if you want to just check it over first, you can read the Gamers Nexus article, which will explain all kinds of stuff that you can do with it. Most of that we're not interested in for 3D CAD. Right, to get it to work with 3D CAD, what you've got to do, it doesn't plug itself straight into the 3D CAD applications straight from the get-go, unfortunately, because they're not games. So you've got to essentially force it into the games. Once OCAT's installed, you should have an icon on your desktop. Go to the icon, double click it, and that should launch up the OCAT uh, little dialog box. Then what you do is you've got to capture a single application and then select the target executable. So you've now got to browse to your 3D CAD executable. The best way of finding your 3D CAD executable is again, go to the shortcut for it, for example, Fusion 360, right click on that, go to properties, and then in the target bit here, just select all of that target, control C or right click and copy, go to the open thing for OCAT and then paste that into the file name bit here, the entire path to the executable for Fusion, press return and then press start. And that's going to launch up OCAT. I've unticked all of these right performance summaries and all the ticky boxes there because that's all the data dumps in the spreadsheets, which I'm not particularly interested in. So I've just unticked all of that. Uh, so then you hit start, that launches Fusion 360. And then at the top right, there's the OCAT plugin, which is showing you the frames per second that's being sent from your graphics card to your monitor, which is a measure of the performance of Fusion 360. So what you want to do is then open up a model, any model, whatever it is you've got you're working on, ideally a big model so then that, that tests your pc so you'll be able to see a visible difference when you start tinkering with some settings so now there's a, a fairly sizable assembly and now if i do a pan around you'll see that i'm currently getting 79 to 80 frames per second as i'm doing a pan around as if i do a 3d orbit the frames per second will drop slightly so we're now getting around 60 frames per second the general rule of thumb is anything above 60 is good anything above 30 is acceptable below 30 and you're starting to struggle. But if you keep it above 60, then everything is gravy, everything is great. So at the moment I've got like uh, anti-aliasing switched on, I've got shadow switched on and reflections. So if you wanna see a visible change in frames per second, you can go to the graphical settings of Fusion 360 and then you can start turning off things like, I don't know, ambient occlusion, anti-aliasing, object shadows, ground reflections, ground shadows, and you should now see a noticeable increase in frames per second. So now we're getting nearly 200 frames per second as we do a pan, and we're getting 150 to 160 frames per second on an orbit because there's less information on screen for the PC to handle as we're doing an orbit in a pan. Why is that useful though? Well, you might be struggling. You might notice that your PC is jerking around a little bit. This validates that your PC is poor. If you're getting 20, 30 frames per second on an orbit, then you know your PC is not so good. You can then maybe put your model onto somebody else's PC, put OCAT on, get the exact same model on someone else's PC, and if you can see a visibly higher frames per second on another PC, then you know you need an upgrade. You can also measure the difference between your old PC and your new PC if you do go for an upgrade. So there's various different reasons why you might wanna see frames per second. It varies per person, I suppose. Right, so that's Fusion 360. The other program you might want to look at is Inventor. Exactly the same thing applies. Hit stop and then go to the Inventor shortcut alternative. If, if you know where the executable is, you can just browse straight to it. So select target executable, go to your PC, C drive, program files, Autodesk, 
invent it. I've only tested version 2017, but I'm, I'm sure it will, it'll probably be work on them all. Click bin and then browse down to inventor.exe. Double click that and then hit start. And that's going to launch Inventor in the exact same way that it launched Fusion. And it's going to put the exact same plugin to Inventor that it did with Fusion. Right, so I'm just going to dock Inventor over at the, uh, in the screen capture region. There we are. Right, I'm going to open up an assembly. You can see the frames per second counter up there on Inventor. It works in exactly the same way as Fusion. Uh, as you're panning and as you're zooming, you should be seeing uh, an up-to-date frame counter for frames per second there you go so on inventor a little bit more work to do objects are a little bit heavier there's more data in here so we're getting lower frames per second but if we zoom out you should see that the frames per second increase so we're now getting around 120 zoom in more work to do so it's a little bit more jerky another thing to be caught to be conscious of is if you're using a 3d mouse 3d mice the driver locks the frames per second to 60 and if your model's so big that it can't actually hit 60 it'll lock it down to the lower number of 30 so it's uh, locked to 30 and 60 if you're using a 3d mouse uh, if you're not using a 3d mouse then you should have an unlocked frame counter which goes up to whatever your pc can handle so that's your frames per second counters i've tried it with autocad doesn't work so it just doesn't plug itself into autocad at all unfortunately that would have been nice but it doesn't work I've tried Revit. Unfortunately, it crashes Revit when, you, when it launches it up. Select the executable. Revit just bombs out. And I haven't tried uh, 3D Max or Showcase because I know Showcase has its own frames per second counter built into it. And I would imagine Max does. If not, then give Max a shot. Might work on that. So that's using OCAT to measure frames per second. Definitely useful. I'm going to be using this from now on whenever I need to measure frames per second. I have tried other programs in the past. The likes of Fraps, which just doesn't flat out, doesn't work with CAD and MSI Afterburner, which causes a bit of instability with the programs, tends to crash them out. So this looks pretty reliable. It looks pretty solid and sturdy. So I'm going to use this from now on whenever I'm doing graphics card tests or PC benchmarks. OCAT from AMD. Give it a shot. It's completely free. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.